Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode we took on more feel. Got the final fused shadow, so that means now we have all three of them. And now, we're gonna go put an end to Zant's little terrorization of Hyrule. So pretty much we're gonna stop him from terrorizing Hyrule. Woo! Do I want to save? Actually, yes, I do. Woohoo! We did it, we did it, we have all the fish shadows. Alright. <laughs> oh shit! He just reverted this world back into Twilight. <laughs> Zant! <laughs> A few shadows. Did you honestly mean to take an ancient and withered power like this and turn it against me? <clears throat> you are a foolish traitor, Midna. Why do you defy your king? <laughs> My king? You? Who do nothing but abuse the magic of your tribe? You must be joking! How dare you! Are you implying that my power is our old magic? Now that is a joke. Ouch. This power is granted to me by my god. It is the magic of the King of Twilight. You will respect it. I'm gonna get him. No, I won't. That thing is right in my forehead. <laughs> my Midna, did you forget? That beast is one of the Light Dwellers who oppressed our people. No matter how much you may de desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in their world. You cannot consort with their kind. But if we make their world our smidna, light and darkness will meet at last. Our tribe will take back their realm, and sweet darkness will blot out this harsh light. And that midna is why. I need you. Not just for me, but for all our people. Lend me your power. <laughs> so be it. I will return you to the light world you covet. But how is Zant standing there? Where did I go? Huh. There I am. 
but I'm a wolf. Ugh. Oh, crap. Eric, hero chosen by the goddesses. Go to the ca the princess locked away in the castle. That princess holds the key that can unlock you from your shadow form. You heard Lanaro. We have to freaking bolt it to Hyrule Castle. And this is honestly, out of all the music within this game, this is the one that just is incredible. Get out of my way, Moblin. Oh yeah, now it starts raining too. The song, if you actually want to look it up on YouTube, for those of you that don't know, it's called Midna's Lament. So, it's a really good song. So, I know a lot of you are saying that, you know, we can just go into the castle through the front doors. That's not going to work because, well, we can't anyway. So, there has to be another way that we can get to the castle. Oh. I just hate the rain. I can't get comfortable on whether I sit or stand. Maybe my six sense is trying to tell me something. Yeah, now people will cower in fear because you're a wolf. So yeah, don't try to go that way. Because there's you will have no hope trying to get into that. But if you remember back a couple episodes ago, there is a way to get to Hyrule Castle from Telma's Bar. Also, I recommend pushing this. You'll understand why in a moment. Alright, so let's go. We gotta get in there. Oh, there you go. Beast! Get out! <laughs> well, that didn't work. We're screwed. No way in. You there. The cat! I told you, remember the cat. You're Eric, correct? Hmm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell you now. I'm Luis. Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Oh. Another patient? You certainly are a curious sort. P please. Princess Z Zelda. This way. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an auto waterway, though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, I suppose there's. I suppose all that's left is to do to make sure that you don't that the humans don't notice you. Now this part here is very challenging. Well, it isn't really, but in a way it actually is. Because you gotta get all the way over there. How do you do so? Tightrope walking, without knocking down any of these vases. Otherwise then they'll notice you. Also, if you want to, you can listen to what they say. And you can tell, now since there is a Goron here. How does it come to this, huh? Monsters walking in the streets of town, 
What in the world are the soldiers of Hyrule doing? The Gorons are so much more reliable than they are. It's not even funny. Just so see if you can nudge your way past. You can listen to them if you want, but they'll be explained in uh, another episode. Wait. It is! That! Right there! So talk to this man. Hey, hey where did that ghost come from? Ah, uh, you. Don't just stand there. Get that ghost! Ghost, there's a lantern. This is honestly the one part. This is the last question mark list that we have. Say hello to the Po soul. Or to the Po. What do we have to do? Kill it and rip out its soul. This now begins the big list, which there are 60 of these freaking things all across Hyrule. The Po soul. And disappear forever. No, the, thanks for being the ghost. Can I call you Doggy? I'm Giovanni. I became consumed by greed a long time ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My cat, my pet cat, Gangle, is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to find you. I have to ask you a favor, Doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think if you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? This literally now begins the hunt for the Poe Souls. Yeah, you really had no choice but to drop down here. Rat! Oh yeah, also, this is the only time you're actually in this part of the waterway. So, cherish it! Uh-oh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there are school tolos. They're not that much of a hassle as a, do as a wolf. Just gotta make sure you can dodge them. And They're not that much of a hassle. Burn. Also, light these torches. So then, like, if you find a stick, you can pick it up and then go light it. Ah, you little bad. Really not in the mood for you. That's all you need a stick. Because then there's just some keys and a mob. Or a couple mobbles. So, what do you do? Dig here. Hey, that's odd. Doesn't this place look a little familiar? Welcome back to the Hyrule Castle Underground Waterway. We were here back when it was twilight. Also, yeah, now you gotta worry about the moblins. 
Try to knock him into the water if you can. I literally love this freaking theme. It is it's very beautiful. There's one coming up that you really do need to worry about. I believe he's just right over oh, He's right up there. So yeah, now you have the wind blowing against you, so running against the wind is kind of a bit of a bad thing right here. Is there anything actually over there? Kagarok! Out of my way. Not in the mood for your shit today, birdie. Ugh. Yeah, now you have to wait for the water to, or not the water, haha. <laughs> the wind to start going if you want to climb onto this one. Leap of faith! <laughs> running, 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 running. Bird! Not in the mood. But yeah, this is the last time you actually ever come up this way. Is <laughs> it? Where'd she go? She was standing right over there last time. Eh. Ah, shit. You okay? Oh. There you are. I was wondering where you disappeared to. Please. Tell me. How do you. How do we break the curse on this one? This is the one. You need him to save your world. That's why, Princess. Please, you must help Eric. What binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the curtain at twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Pharaoh. There you will find the blade of evil's bane that was crafted by the wisdoms of the ancient sages. The Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Eric, you are sent by the goddesses. Like you, I have, grant I have granted special powers by the goddesses. Fine. Eric, you can, you can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess, I have one last request. Can you tell him where to find the mirror of Twilight? Midna, I believe I understand now just who and what you are. Despite your mortal injuries, you can act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Minna. I pass it to you. No! 
Eric, stop her! We go back, Eric. Back to Fern Woods. So then, I've taken all that you had to give. Though I did not want it. That's emotional right there. Yeah, I know. I killed the movie. Now this is the part that gets really serious. Running, 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 and... Castle? Huh? There is literally now a freaking prism encasing the castle. Man, that was emotionally packed, but we're saving our trip for the next episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I will see you guys in the next episode. This is Eric, signing off. See you guys later.